Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about what just came out this week. So over the past week, I just noticed that two things have happened. Windows 11 has been announced. They actually released it at the um, Windows Live event that they had. And as we can see here, they're actually releasing a new Windows 11. Apparently, they actually weren't gonna release it because they're gonna stick with Windows 10 for the rest of you know the next these updates, but I guess Windows decided to change up their mind. So let's quickly take a look um, at the new Windows 11. You can see they started to go for the like the Mac OS style with the centered um, nav bar, um, browser bar at the bottom. And you can see here, they're going for the glass morphism type of look. It looks really cool, looks interesting. You can quickly look at the, the video here. So I won't watch all of it, but you can go check out the video. It's on YouTube um, at, with the Windows account. Um, but you can see here, you probably won't be able to hear it, but really cool visuals. Um, transparent feel, very clean. They actually flattened out the Windows logo instead of having it on that um, shifty angle. Beautiful animation here, lovely, very sharp. And it shows you like all the new updates, which is really interesting. So I thought this was really cool. Like, you know, the better optimized we can have the Windows, then why not, you know, why not increase productivity um, and maximize it. They've got this cool new feature where you can actually snap layouts and, and things like that. I already use an app for that. So that's kind of already redundant, but anyway, um, new ways to connect, which is cool. Google, uh, I think it looks like Google Meet to me, but I don't know, it looks good. Uh, let's scroll down here. They've got this thing called widgets. So widgets allow you to have customizable things on your desktop screen. So once you pop that out, you know, all, similar to how you have an app on your phone, like the weather app and the news and calendar, all that stuff. They've actually got it live. You just click one button and you can customize that layout. So that's actually a really cool thing. Now let's scroll down. They've also got, you know, Game Pass, Xbox. I don't, I don't play Xbox, so we're all good for that. And there we go. Looks pretty cool. It's called the, the stats, so that's pretty cool. And you can go on um, Introducing Windows 11. It's actually still trending right now, ranked number 15 on the Windows channel. So the same video we just watched you can watch it there. But my the second announcement that I found really interesting this week was actually Adobe releasing something called Adobe Substance 3D. So we already have Adobe Dimension, as you might know, where we can create 3D objects, 3D, um, you know, mockups. But this is actually more for um, 3D designers who want to create actual scenes. So you can see here um, a quick mockup, which I think is really, really sweet. And if you can play this video, um, it's like a breakdown. And so they break down, that's an event, um, which is cool. They break it all down. But basically it's a lot more detailed than um, Dimension. So here's a quick intro to it. We won't watch it all, but you can watch it. Just check it out, Adobe Substance 3D Sager. So it's really gonna add more, um, you know, parameters, models, scenes, you can sort of probably animate stuff, um, but it looks actually pretty good. You can add textures as well. The only issue is I have with this is that they're actually charging more. It's not included in the Adobe Creative Cloud. It's another extra $30 on top, right? So I don't see people moving from like Cinema 4D or Blender to jump onto this, you know, um, because they need to build out the assets. They need to figure out what they're gonna do. Um, so, you know, you can go on their YouTube and check out, they've got like these nodes and parameters and graphs so you can input data like texturing and, and, and displacement maps and all that type of stuff. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, people were raging in the video because apparently the <laughs> the audio, she says, instead of nodes, she says nods and she says parameters instead of um, parameters. Um, I got an Aussie accent and so I don't know, could, <laughs> hopefully it sounds right. But anyway, it was kind of funny. Um, you can read the comments and, and figure it out. But Anyway, those are the two announcements that I wanted to share. Windows 11 and Adobe Substance 3D. I think that's really cool. Something happened um, new coming up in, in just this last week. So I thought, I thought I'd share it with you guys. But let me know, do you think it's an interesting investment? Do you think um, Windows are going in the right direction? Do you think Adobe is just going for another money grab, as you call it? Or, you know, is it good for technology, you know? Who knows? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and we can have a chat about it. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe for more design and creative content every week. Love you guys. Thanks so much. Bye.